Hey, let me hear that whole jail. Oh, hold on. Before we even start the video, you know who it is. I don't even have to introduce myself, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's Young 40 Vino, and I'm back on this channel with another video. And today we are doing the three short, scary stories. And I'm not going to try to pause it as much this video. I'm going to just like, you know, when there's shit I have to say, I'm going to pause it right there. I ain't going to do that much, though. Let's get right into the video. The night at the broadcast station. I'm in charge of sound editing and audio at one of the broadcasting stations. And this is what I experienced the other day. The inside of our editorial room used to get too dark and gloomy, especially at night. So there what were the a lot of people who said they saw ghosts there. If... If I'm working the night state, the night like position, I'm working the night... If I'm working by myself, first of all, I don't give a fuck what my boss says. I'm sneaking me a Glock in there, bro. I'm sneaking me a gun in there. And then they, they be like, well, you don't got it? No, no, no. We, you working, so you got money to get a Glock, nigga. Take that shit. Put in, she could have put it in her purse. Went to the work, nigga. Did her night shift. If you see anything that's out of the ordinary, nigga, like a, like a little girl that's in the fucking hallway, nigga. I'm shooting that bitch. I don't give a fuck if that's the boss daughter, nigga. If you look creepy, nigga, I'm shooting your dumb ass. The fuck? She looked like she had her period, nigga. I'm blowing her head off. Simple as that. After I joined this broadcasting station, I just laughed when I heard about it. Stupid. Yeah, who believes that? However, Me? not long ago, I had to change my mind. The audio file and film would sometimes disappear every other day. Of okay, my fault. I'll pause it again. Damn, that just don't, bro. Like you gotta think, bro. If the audio files and the t video files keep ending up missing, and there's no glitch in the system, right there, I'm quitting the job, bro. We either getting hacked, nigga, or somebody's playing tricks on me, nigga. Like, what? Of course, I was scolded by my seniors because of it. I'll so I worked until dawn to make up for my mistakes. The hallway in the editing room was pretty long. Ooh, I'm not walking down And there was a small myself. warehouse inside the room on the far end of the hallway where the film was kept. Originally, only the people in charge could enter the room. However, for some reason, I kept hearing a squealing sound in the room that day. Hmm, I guess someone's still working. Nobody's working again, you're by I yourself. Ending, I kept hearing that noise. Wondering who was inside, I got up from my seat, came out into the hallway, and opened the warehouse door slightly. Stupid. And there, there was someone inside the room. Whoa, nigga, there's somebody in the room? I thought she was gonna be like, there was nobody in the room. No, there's somebody in that bitch. I'm going to turn the light on and be like, hey, nigga, who the fuck is you? I don't know who you is. You don't got this badge on my chest. I work here. Who are you? Soon as this nigga get up and start, rah, 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 I'm going to pull the Glock out, shoot, take, like, I'm going to take, like, four shots, nigga, because, you know, now nah, just take four shots. If that nigga doesn't die, nigga, he gets back up, I'm going home, nigga. I'm going home. I'm locking the door. I'm running home, nigga. I'm not even gonna take my car, nigga. I'm running home. Fuck the car, nigga. He might be he might be sleeping in the back of my seat. I'm fuck the car. I'm running home, nigga. Asthma attack. As soon as I get there, I'ma die on my fucking couch, nigga. Fuck all you, bro. I'm not doing it. And right there, she's she's looking into the room, right? That chill from her neck down to her back would have hit me, bro. All that, all that, that coldness on my back would have got. Bro, I'm serious, bro. These niggas out here, bro. A her woman with Becky. disheveled hair. Woo! Woo! On the floor, oh, what the fuck is that? What the her fuck? Stomach. She what the kept fuck? making grotesque sounds and crying. Right here, when she's doing all that, the bullet will literally be going through her eye hole. 
to the back of her head, nigga. Simple as that. She was also frantically what the pulling fuck she the doing? from the she, she doing a jusu, nigga? The scariest part. She throwing some top, nigga. She throwing some top. Oh, the fuck is she throwing some top, nigga? That's that top, nigga. You see her head? Stop playing. It didn't seem normal. She slurping, nigga. It was abnormally fast. <laughs> and her posture was just. She didn't just lie on her stomach. She, she didn't have Whoa, a lower body. What the fuck? I ran away yes. from the room Go screaming home. like crazy. Go home. And the next day, I told my senior about this. And the senior, who was listening quietly, said this. After hearing it, I couldn't sleep at all. Maybe she was looking for the film she had appeared in. Well, let me tell Okay, I think I think he was trying to joke with her by saying maybe she was looking for the film he was, she, was, she was in. But nigga, as soon as I see that, I'm really going to tell all my homies. Like, I will, I will work from early morning to... Five o'clock, but as soon as five o'clock hit, you can you gotta get somebody else to do that night shift, nigga. Fuck that shit. I'm not doing it. Fuck you. Fuck the job. I don't give a fuck. I can go work at like fucking Pizza Hut, nigga. Fuck this shit, nigga. At least with Pizza Hut, I don't got. I, I the, the the only thing you gotta think about in pizza is like, man, I, I, I fucking pizza coming to life and killing your ass, nigga. I'm not, bro. I'm not doing it. She had no guts, nigga. But she was throwing somebody top. How? Tell you my story. I'm working as a police officer. Okay. I experienced something really incredible a while ago. You shot a black man. But nigga. no one believed my story. Yeah, you so thought you I'm thought she was innocent. Tell you this. Not long ago, my team and I were dispatched on a mountain after receiving a report that there was a dead body there. While we were doing some research on the dead body, I went closer to it and started to check it out. It seemed like it hadn't been long since he died. He and blue. furthermore, his body's condition was really clean. He got topped and that's why he died? I guess this man probably committed suicide. How? I was thinking that, but it was at that moment. Not yet. <gasps> the dead man was staring at me he with his no. eyes slightly open. And I definitely saw him saying it based on the shape of his mouth. He is alive. I saw it. I screamed, grabbed the other cops, and shouted. But soon, I eventually got scolded by the chief, and he told me not to disturb the other cops. He also told me that the body's cardiac arrest was checked already. Damn. I soon became devastated. Did I not see it? Did I just witness something wrong? It turned out that it had been about 10 hours since he died, Damn. and the cause of his death was suicide. Oh. I started to tell another senior police officer. He listened carefully to what I was saying, and he finally said this. Well, sometimes there are people like you. You know, those types of people sometimes hear the last thing the dead wanted to say. Whoa. The last thing he said was not yet. He was getting top, and he said, I'm not done yet. I'm not busting. And she said, fuck no. I hear something. I'm gone. He said, not yet. Got his head blown off, nigga. Well, actually, it was suicide. So that nigga just cut his shit off and said, fuck it. I got blue balls now, nigga. And, and you know, off the shelf, man. I just heard this from someone I know. One day, he got up as usual. And then he stared at his finger with a blank expression on his face. Why don't I have six fingers? Why do I have five fingers? Where is the other one? What? He started to have these kinds of fingers. thoughts out of thumb. nowhere. He was so worried. And he kept thinking about it on his way to work. And he was so scared when he came back home that he burst out crying. However, he eventually realized it only before he came home and was about to fall asleep. Oh, yes. I have five fingers, actually. What? A few days That's later. Be in his shit! He be in! Community. Well, of course, most people treated him like a crazy person or just laughed at him. In the meantime, a comment written by one person stuck deep in his mind. The anonymous commenter said he might have early stage schizophrenia, and he asked him, what if he thought he had four fingers instead of six eventually? 
I got goosebumps when I heard that. Oh, this nigga broke his fucking finger, my nigga. This is the reason I don't watch this shit. This nigga just snapped his fucking finger. You crazy ass nigga, bro. Okay. Guys. Just don't be stupid. It's Young 40 Vino, and I guess this this is me out. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, let me hear that whole Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.